Hey everybody, and welcome back to the Binding of Isaac Rebirth. We are doing challenges. We are going just the whole hog on challenges. Last run we had Waka Waka, it was pretty fun, and now we are playing the host. Which sounds interesting. Uh, we have Mulligan and Spider Revenge. So I think we have to get hit for spiders, but we have a chance to spawn flies. I think it's Infestation 2 is what it's called. Not quite sure. We'll find out. Because I am, of course, going to go in here. And we have spiders. So yeah, it's taking damage gives you spiders. That's kind of sucky. I'd rather have a... You know, there should be a spider generation item. Well, spiders. Hello, spiders. I heard you wanted spiders. Actually, I think it's it's not Infestation 2. I think Infestation 2 is actually what you want. I think that's what generates spiders. It is Spider Revenge that does it. That does what I think that's what we have to start with. And and of course the Mulligan. Very much like the Mulligan. Obviously, it's Guppy toned down because Guppy is like every single thing. Every single tier that hits, whereas I believe Mulligan is either based on luck now or it's 1 in 6. It used to be 1 in 6. I would believe that it's based on luck now since a lot of stuff is. Which is really cool. Uh, until you get luck down pills and then it sucks. But that's kind of how it goes. Just die. Uh, getting Shooped Whoop wouldn't be bad. It's not the best item in the world, but it's better than no item, which is what we're currently working on. And, uh, I believe we have a chance with Shooped Whoop to spawn flies? I believe. No dice. So, there is one option for the secret room. I found pills. Puberty, just hoping for not a health down paralysis. I've got so many bombs, this is worth doing. Could have gotten some some money out of it. Famine, okay. Gotta kill the pooters. Unfortunately, this is just normal famine, so we don't we're not going to get a soul heart out of this, and I don't see any... I didn't see any tinted rocks on the floor. Perhaps I'm wrong, but I don't remember seeing any. Of course, his triple shot's really easy to dodge. Unless you're me, because I, I will miss, mess up triple dodges all the time. Triple shot dodges. And we're off to the next floor. Looks like we only have to go to Mom again, so I might actually just try and go a little... Oh, we have the tick. When did I get the tick? Did I, oh, I must have started with it. I was going to say, I bet you I started with it. Because it is... themed. Alright, so we're not going to take any damage, hopefully, from this spider. Which means... Ooh, nice. That's very good. Which means we are protected. Slightly. Well, we can't pick that up. We are slightly protected, though. and could possibly get a deal with the devil, it would be very good to get something like Little Brimstone. Because Little Brimstone is... Uh, f familiars are capable of spawning flies. And Little Brimstone is firing a Brimstone laser, which hits a whole bunch, which means better chance of spawning flies. Made this room almost trivial, which is nice. Not. This room's kind of okay. I mean, it's free money. Unless, of course, you get hit, which would be bad. Alright, so Seeker Room could totally be to the right of us right now. Yep, totally could be, and probably is. Oh my gosh, so many spiders, so many. Oh wow, okay. Q of Meat probably saved my butt there. I'm just 
trying to kite as many of these guys as I can without taking damage. So the spiders are pretty much first priority. That trite is going to come flying from nowhere and murder me, I know it. There's two of them. They can just jump so far, it's silly. Having the uh, poop trinket would be nice right now, but obviously we can't because tick. So the tick, uh, if you don't know what the tick is, the tick is a trinket that once you pick up, you cannot let go. You cannot drop it. It is impossible. Uh, do I want PhD? Well, there's a tinted rock over here. But yeah, you can't let go of it. That's just how it is. I'm going to think about this shop. It reduces boss health by, I want to say, 15%, I believe. It's 10 or 15%. Uh, and when you enter the boss room, you get, I believe, one full red heart of healing. So it's pretty good. Pretty good. Uh, the downside, of course, being that you can't drop it. It is one of the few trinkets you cannot drop. And since you can't drop it, it, you know, limits your flexibility. When you pick up the tick, you're committing. Pretty strongly, too. I'm still not sure about the item. Still not sure about the shop. I think I'm gonna fight the boss before I make my final decision. I'm gonna bomb in through this direction. Because I'm still bad at guessing where those are. Oh, that's not it. Okay, because it can't be this one. Because it's blocked. So, not sure what made it not be there. Okay, pin. Pin's okay. We'll kill pin. And probably not take any damage. Probably. We won't take three spirit hearts of damage. If we do, uh, I'm passed out in a coma, and why the hell I uploaded this, I don't know. Even then, I feel like Pin might even fail to hit you. Right, so we get an HP up. An empty HP up. Gimpy. For one heart, I'll take Gimpy. I'm not particularly, like, aiming. I don't want PhD. I want something else. I want like a damage up. That'd be nice. Make my flies do more damage. Curse of the blind. So now I just can't see what things are. I don't know why I opened that. It ended up being worth it. Because six cents. As long as I don't take damage, mind you. This is going to make this uh, particularly interesting, though. Because if I don't know what things are... Will I take them to deal with the devil? I let my cube of meat do some pretty hefty damage there, which was nice. Fortunately, cube of meat orbits per like really fast, so... Constantly doing that's a little hard. I'll finally spawn some spiders. Haven't gotten a hit in a little while. So I'd go ahead and say that's pretty darn good. And we get a key. Alright, well, we can enter the shop without worrying. You can throw out an angle, I hate you. I have to actually try to throw out an angle, you just can stop and throw out an angle. Me firing on an angle takes skill. Don't know if that's a PC thing anymore, honestly. Like, a computer thing, not politically correct. Uh, that's... Small rock. I was gonna like, can anything else come out of a tinted rock? I don't think so, but sometimes I just don't know. You will die. So will you. It will take longer though. Ha. Can't pick that up. I need mom's purse to pick up another trinket. That is the one way to get around the tick. It's having mom's purse. Oh, I found the shop. <sighs> Son of a bitch. 
Do I do it? The battery. Okay. That's great. Because I don't have a use item. Moon. Kind of no reason not to. Another tinted rock. Yes, please. And we get a shortcut into another direction. Can't really make that trade. It is worth making that trade, if I had the ability to, because there is a chance of a trapdoor. Like the uh, black market. See, I'm weird. I'm hoping to get six more cents so I can buy the other item that I don't know what it is. Because that would be kind of cool if uh, it was something useful. The battery is good. I just don't have any reason to use it. Like, I'd love to get Krampus' head. Now. I think that's what I want from the Devil Room this for. I want to fight Krampus and get Krampus' head. I, th I think that would be ideal. That's my gut feeling on it. But I might as well fight the boss. Use the caves one. Okay, Chad. So, uh, I have an idea what the item might be, by the way. For those of you who do not uh, know about Chad, Chad always drops a little Chad. Always. Always. So yes, literally to the point of annoying, always drops Chad. Alright, so we do have a few more floors, or a few more floors, a few more rooms. And it doesn't look like I'm going to get the extra five cents. Almost took damage there. Darn it. So far so good, in my opinion. Our damage is not phenomenal, but it's good enough. The damage up from the small rock was, was useful. It was, it was definitely needed. Definitely needed. But that being said, we're doing good. We're do we've got good health, we've got decent money, decent consumables. I'm not expecting to end up with like, you know, 300 keys. But this will be useful. Really useful. We're gonna build up a small army of uh, flies here as well as get ourselves some more spirit hearts because of Gimpy. That's why I like Gimpy, because it triggers off of blood donation machines, and I really like using blood donation machines. And of course now I can check out what's in here. Not all that interested, honestly. Well, my spider friends can't actually get to those spiders, and my range isn't all that great. Oh, so many triple shots. I hate triple shots. One triple shot's not bad, but when there's like f two of them... Prevent the mole booms. I'm not going in there just yet. Spider army. The spider army doesn't really concern me all that much. It's a little silly, but... Good, another key. That means we've got at least two more shops viable. No tinted rock. Can't pick that up if I wanted to. Which, uh, supposedly it's fixed. And I feel like it's fixed from the times that I've had it. I feel like I've gotten more keys and more shop, or more chests. Don't know if that's provable or if it's like placebo effect, but it seems like it's working now. Alright, more money. This room isn't too challenging. Gonna have to wait for that creep to fade out before we can leave, but... This little Chad's dropping little hearts. It's gonna be good for us. Mary Jr. actually following me around pretty, uh... pretty reliably. Usually he just kinda doesn't pay attention. Today, he wants to eat me, apparently. Much stronger than other days. 
I'm not going to give him the satisfaction, though. Um, is that a library or is that our shop? I don't even remember. We haven't seen our shop yet, have we? No, we haven't. Okay, so that is our shop. Losing track of what I have and haven't seen on the floor is pretty bad. But hey, we get to look at our items. Hey, man. I... I don't know what you want from me. I'm not saying no. Sure, it trivializes, trivializes the end of the run. Oh. That's so not a cool game. But it also makes our battery a good idea. Because it means we can save flight. Which is more convenient for sure. It's really nice to be able to save that flight. Because what if there are two rooms on a floor that you need it and you didn't know you were going to need it? I don't know. There's definitely some good uses for it. Just want you to die. Of course, now I'm going to forget that I, I'm going to use flight once on the viable, or maybe even like twice in a row, because like there's two rooms that I need it, something, and I want to get full use of the charge, and then I'm going to forget that I don't actually have the ability to fly. Yeah, that's probably how it's going to go. Is it going to happen at least once? Maybe. The only place you'll really notice is when I accidentally like walk over spikes and I'm like, oh yeah, I don't know why, I totally thought I was flying. Alright. Yeah, we can do the boss. We can certainly do the boss. That was unfortunate. You just killed your progeny. I hope you enjoyed that. Not quite sure why the Wretched has so little health. Because it makes it a particularly easy boss fight in my, in my mind. If you're too slow, I can see it destroying you, but... Hey, Krampus, you're going to give me your head now because I said I wanted Krampus's head. And I'm going to go with the Bible so that you can make me a liar. true. You know it to be true. And now I want the coal. Yep, what did I say? And of course he puts it in a really inconvenient spot too. And it's gone. So we lost those two hearts. Kind of sucks because I want to go play the blood donation machine. Eh, it was worth a shot. I almost actually got hit by that mushroom that exploded into the poisonous cloud. And like, this is one place to use it. Get in for free. Of course, eat that on the way out, but there was no way to avoid that, basically. Finish off this rest of the floor, just to finish it off. Yeah, definitely thought I was flying there again. Which is silly because I didn't even do anything... I didn't do anything that would give me... That, that gained benefit from flying actively in a room. Like, the whole entering the curse room, that was like really premeditated. It's not like I used it to fly over a gap in the previous room. Just... Eh, worth a shot. Sometimes those rooms it's like, here, here, it's totally here, and it is. Other times, not so much. Alright, well, let's play the crap out of this. I'm not gonna play them. I might blow them up. Alright. Grab all those little red hearts. There's one there. There's one there. I'm gonna go and spend these right now, because there's a bunch of little red hearts. Half red hearts, I'm sure, hanging out over at the end. Definitely happy about that. Thank you, Gimpy, for proccing. I do appreciate it. And this will probably be our last round trip. Whatever I can muster and spend, I don't think I'm gonna go too much further than that. 
because this is a long trip and even though I'm decently fast it's still taking forever and of course the more I play the less you know it was just go we're just gonna go uh -huh. but oh well whatever if it doesn't pay out it doesn't pay out we're going to just curse the blind again well, surprise, I can buy both of the items from the shop if there are two of them. I don't think there can be three. Not with the level that my shop's at. And honestly, I don't know if the shop level in the normal game is representative. Darn it. Wow, that was bad. Cube of meat definitely saved my butt there. Not worth you go. Clearly made it around that. Found the boss room. Uh, I'm just gonna go and fight the boss, like, immediately. While I'm here, right? I could also just ditch the shop and make this run quick, because I just have to find the boss on the next floor, and we win. And I might just do that so that we can get to the next... That was unfortunate. And I might just do that so we can just get to the next challenge. Because while in... Oh, man. Well, thank you, Gimpy, for actually making that worth it. Yeah, I'm picking up the black heart so that I can do damage to him. And he's just a little bit too slow. With the... No oh. The knockback of my tears was almost enough. Cube of meat. Not surprising. Yep, screw it. We just have to find the boss room, and then we win. So, that's what my plan is. Find boss room, win. If I find the shop beforehand, sure, I will spend money there. But, as I was saying about the breaking run that I had a few episodes back, and is still yesterday, based on... Uh, when I'm recording, because I'm doing a lot of recording today. Yeah, that whole situation was fun. And, and I enjoyed myself, and, you know, it was definitely a cool experiment to do, but it really didn't gain me anything, because it was, you know, in the middle of a challenge. I found pills. I'm really good at picking the wrong way. Looks like there's only one hand. Nope, I lied, there are two. Alright. We were at the point where we might as well use flying. So I'm actually going to, uh, for a few reasons. One being so I can enter the curse room without taking damage, and the other so that I can sit on top of rocks and be okay. That, that, that won't stop them from teleporting on top of me. Which they occasionally do. Now our cube of meat is level 2 and firing at them though, so that's good. Getting pretty good at placing that bomb. Unfortunately, did not get any benefit out of it. Alright, our damage is good enough that we can take care of most of the stuff. This should be a spirit heart. The one, oh dang, just exploded. It was definitely bluish in color. Okay. Um, this is weird. I believe that champion I have to kill last. I don't think I can kill it first in the room, and then I have to try to kill an eternal heart. Which I'll take, mostly because it's irrelevant. Wow, that was close. I thought all three spiders were brimstone spiders, which it's a little early for that to actually be the case. But it's something that does happen in other places, so it's just kind of like, um, I thought that's what was just happening. And the way that I moved totally would have gotten me shot by brimstone spiders, especially because I then tried to basically retcon it and actually move forward. It, it was weird. I tried to move back after moving forward. And it ended up 
it actually ended up saving me with my reaction to move back. Yeah, my, my reaction to move back put me in the line of fire. I don't know. It, it was a weird room. I'm just, I'll just leave it at that. Where's our boss room? It's got to be attached to the big room. Come on, guys. I just want you to die. There's nothing against you. Okay, well, it, it's not off of that room, but it's it's that's the the correct path. All right. I don't even. I'm not even gonna pick up that bomb. Is this? It's just an empty giant room. I don't understand. That was close, and I'm not entirely sure how I didn't take damage there, but I'm not going to complain about not taking damage there, that's for sure. Disembodied torso and a head, and we're good. Alright, shop and boss room. So I'm going to the shop, uh, because I have so much money and I want to spend it. I really wish that there was like a donation machine. I wish that was a thing that was possible. But it's not. <sighs> Game. Like, I don't even care right now. As long as I don't die in this room, I win the challenge. And then we're off to the next one, which I believe is Family Man? That's funny how that's jammed in front of the door. So often that happens. Yeah, yeah, you know what? I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I'm not killing myself. This is the only reason why I'm doing that. Uh, tech 5. Tech, no, tech point five. Technology point five is what that was. Interesting. Okay. That was fun. And... Family Man. Let's do it. I have no idea how far we gotta take this. Okay, so I just kind of ran. I just started running. That's unfortunate. So the family man... I won't BFF really badly. Like, really badly. I've got dad's key. I've got rotten baby. Do I already have... I already have BFF, don't I? I think I do. We'll check. Yeah, I do. So, I already got BFF. That's nice. Dad's key. Brother Bobby. Sister Maggie. And then Infested Baby. So, we want even more familiars. Like, we do. We want more familiars. That's going to be the goal of our run here. So, Dad's key isn't great. Tears down. That's... Actually, I don't think that actually affects me. Because I think the familiars have their own tear firing rate that's unaffected by yours. Um, I see that tinted rock and it makes me sad. So that seems like the most likely place. And oodles of money. Not quite enough to go to the shop this floor. Although I could. And honestly I might. Because if I can get a spirit heart for next floor... We'll see. This thing recharges super fast. And who knows, I might get, uh... Might get Pageant Boy. I haven't actually seen Pageant Boy in a really long time. I don't think it opens Devil Rooms. That would be really good. It used to have a chance. Okay, Blood Clot does absolutely nothing. Well, actually, that's not true. It's not true because... Rotten Baby. Okay, so there's options and a key. I'll take the key for next time. For the next shop. Actually, no, that's totally not true. 
I have dad's key. I don't want to use a key for next shot. I'll, I'll use it on this. Was it worth it? No. In fact, it was not. It was a waste of two cents. But, now we know. The mystery no longer pervades. I'm looking to push this challenge through pretty quickly. Okay, I could totally take options, and I will take options. And the reason why is because some of those boss items are useless. Some of them just are. And it's going to give us, you know, options on every floor we play after this. And I don't know how many that is, to be honest. We've got a lot of... But we're going to find out right now. How far do I got to go? Okay, crap. At least heart. At least heart. It could be further. I don't actually have a way of knowing. Because it tells you the heart, and then if it has to go further, it happens afterwards. But the furthest it'll ever tell you you have to go via that is the heart. Uh, not playing, not not playing games with that. Really? Damn. I thought I saw a tear going to intercept it, and nope. Deal with the devil chance just got wrecked, unfortunately. Well, that means I might as well just go to the damn curse room. Does this open that? It does. Might as well do it. Pin. I should have known. Die, pin, die. I find standing in corners is a little bit useful against him. Really, I missed all of those. The, the, the fly is what I'm really looking at the most, honestly. Uh, becoming guppy would be ridiculously good. Because familiar tears count. Oh, that's right, this is a boss challenge room. Now, you do actually... This is something I found that was interesting. You do actually have to hold a directional for Rotten Baby to spawn... Oh, gosh darn it. That's okay. Uh, for Rotten Baby to spawn... Nice. A, a, a tear. A, a fly. It actually needs to, you to be pressing a direction. Otherwise it just won't. Thought it was interesting. It's not particularly useful because you're probably firing non-stop anyway. But, fun fact, I suppose. There's the shop. Don't really need the shop right now. Six cents could be enough for a spirit heart, though. Which I would totally want to buy, because I'd like to preserve the black heart as long as possible. I, yeah, that fly is really not wanting to attack things until, like, the last second. What's left? Yeah, there it is. Oh, there's two of them. Man, those these guys are sneaky. I don't trust them. Oh, at least get the drop, which is a penny. So we can buy a sale, an item that's on sale. Oh, that's bad. That's bad. There's a tinted rock right there. Well, that's how this is going then. When they both hit the fire, it goes out pretty fast. Uh, that tinted rock right there. It's pretty good. Pretty good. Uh, I am still going to try and use Dad's key after the fight with the boss. Man, that was aggressive. To see if it possibly could open the devil room. Of course, if I don't get it. I'd like to just get it and not have to worry about it. Which is a possibility, mind you. Sure, having extra bombs is good. I could look for the secret room, but... 
blighted ovum. We just need to move quickly. This will actually work okay because my familiars lag behind me. And we got it. Okay. I don't know if I want one of those yet. Krampus. Do I want Krampus's head? Probably. Dad's key is useful, but I actually have some keys now, so... The damage up from Lump of Coal would benefit the flies. But I think... Yeah, of course I don't get his head. I should have said that I didn't want Krampus's head. And I would have gotten it. I... Th I, range isn't going to benefit me, so I'm going for the box. High Priestess is good. Let's look for the secret rooms. I don't want to make this take too much longer. There are two particularly reasonable... I don't know if that's actually possible. Actually, no, it looks like it is, but that's not. So I'm going to say here's where the secret room likely is. What do we got? Key beggar. Uh, no. I don't mess with key beggars. They don't pay out enough. It sometimes can take them forever. And, yeah, just do. Something that's unreliable is pretty dangerous. I don't even know if I picked up that pill. Alright. Catacombs. So, a slightly harder version of the floor. I'm going to wait to go to the curse room. Alright. Darn. I don't have any orbitals, so that just smacked me right in the face. Well, I can. Yeah, no. I don't think that's worth it. There, oh, what? Uh, I was too busy looking at tinted rocks because I found one. Gosh darn it. I managed to grab that and save the black heart. That was really bad, by the way. That was some really bad play. Some really, uh, just being unobservant. And that is how you get killed. Wow. He took a lot of flies. That says that my damage is ass. Ugh. Uh, we're traveling pretty darn far. There are no tinted rocks here. And since we're traveling so far, I'm inclined to believe we're headed towards the boss. Which is good. I want to fight the boss as soon as possible because I still have soul heart. Just using it now so that it gets recharged. Waiting for that to blow up. Well, that's the thing. I'd love to get 15 cents to buy the uh, broken watch, but uh, I'm not hopeful of that happening. Really? The fire rate is so slow. I want a little brimstone really bad. Really bad, guys. Come on, fly. Seriously, fly? Thank you. Sometimes the fly's really smart. Sometimes it's really stupid. I don't know why it's... which sometimes. Alright, this boss is going down quickly. Options. Uh, I want an orbital. I Hell yes, I want an orbital. Look at how huge that orbital is. With best friends, it's truly ridiculous. Alright, so secret room. So far, I'm seeing multiple places. Here seems most likely. And that's because there's four rooms surrounding it. Oh, goodness, yes. So far, I actually am liking Dad's key. Well, here, we'll do this. Since Dad's key doesn't really need a recharge. 
at the moment. Cricket's head. Um, yeah, wow. Really happy about that. Really, really happy about that. Um, not happy about that. Granted, I'm not using tears, so Cricket's head isn't nearly as good. I'm probably happier about the orbital, since it's... Look at how wonky huge that thing is. Um, however, it does influence fly damage. I'm weird. Let's try this. Two keys. Did I not go to the curse room? I did not go to the curse room. I'm going to the curse room for the cost of a bomb. Oh my, yes. Okay, so that was amazing and beautiful. And I'm, I don't know, this, this floor went well. So let's see what next floor does. Oh, that's right, and I forgot about that too. Another HP up. Can't go into that boss challenge room. Oh, yes, we can. Eh. Like, don't get me wrong. Tempting. Dang it, I always get caught by this room. I need to figure... I need to find the safe spot. I can deal with one side of the room. But having both sides of the room firing at me like that, for some reason, just messes me up. Go fly. Fly is doing some considerable damage now. Brother Bobby and Sister Maggie can't do any more damage than they're already doing right now, I believe, since their damage doesn't scale. That's why I would like more familiars. I mean, who doesn't want a little brimstone? I mean, the flies aren't one-shotting stuff, but I wouldn't really expect them to. Not immediately, not at this point. Well, we found the boss. So we might as well fight. Because the caves, too. I'm trying to do a lot of damage with the orbital, but... It's risky. Look at how much damage that did, though. That just cranked it down. Well, while I was taking damage. Damage up or health up? Um. Uh, I think we go health up. Survivability is going to be more important. Uh, spectral tears and flight. Spectral Tears don't gain me anything, it's the flight. Do I want to be able to fly? I think I'm okay without it. I think I'm okay without it. I could be wrong. So far, I'm thinking... Here is the secret room. <coughs> Excuse me, success. Darn it. Couldn't get out of the way in time. I gotta try this. Okay, so that does work on the secret room. So I should be able to find the secret room a lot more often, instead of using bombs. I don't know if it works from the outside. So it's still kind of speculation. But I guess if I find it from one direction... Dang it, I couldn't avoid that. Map for seven cents, or Spirit Heart for five. We'll talk about it. If I can find two more cents, I get both, and I'm happy. Which means kill the poop. Found poop. Yep, I'm actually going through and killing the poop looking for two cents. I still have rooms to clear, and yet I'm doing this. And I'm talking about how I want a faster run. But I mean, then that happens, and I'll get it on my way back, but seriously, that's awesome. Maybe I will take flight if it shows up. 
if the double room stays open. What is this? Two of diamonds, very nice. That could come in handy. And I do want to spend money. I can see forever. Okay, so that's going to give us our other secret, or our other top secret room. Or the top secret room. Very nice. Well, that sucks. At least it's getting mitigated by that eternal heart that we found. Okay, it'd be very cool to find an arcade, which we could still do. Ooh, that was close. That would have been a waste, a really unfortunate waste. Also, if I find an arcade, this two of diamonds will be super effective. Son of a... I hate that. I really do. The, the middle of the room looks to be unsafe, but it isn't, and then you get blown up backwards through the damn door. Alright, so no arcade. I'm sad. So, I don't have any use for those things. I don't want to fight the challenge room. I'm not really all that inclined. So I will use the two of diamonds to buy this and this. We will grab this and then be on our way. We've got 10 cents to work with. As we enter Necropolis. Oh god. I'm gonna bet the shop's one way. And everything else is the other. I would actually really like to fight uh, a horseman and get a cube of meat. That would be really nice. There's a curse room. I really just want to clear these these poops so that we don't have to deal with eternal flies. Unfortunately, eternal flies don't make it easy. This is the longer path. Like of all the uh, of all the paths that you could possibly take to get to an end room, the one that is the longest, uh, is statistically the most likely to be the boss room. Statistically. Uh, it doesn't mean it doesn't happen where you get spawned a room away, because that definitely has happened. This room just sucks. Oh darn it. Oh. Got eight bombs. Can hope for a black heart. And the same room again. What did I get hit by? I don't know qu quite what I got hit by there. Because I didn't think I was hit by the mask. But I guess I must have been... I'm too slow for this room. Cube of meat, please. I'm serious, I want a cube of meat. I want a second giant ass orbital protecting my face. 
That was close, and that wasn't. Although, how is my speed? My speed seems to be pretty good. So I'm staying ahead of him. Okay, I can choose between second orbital and squeezy. Squeezy is two spirit hearts. This is more of another familiar firing and charm tears. Yeah, I'm a little crazy. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to get those. If I bomb that, I won't be able to get it. <laughs> Sadly enough. Well, I don't have any spirit hearts now, which means I can go to that curse room. Hanged man is useful. If there's ever anything we need to get. I could have used that to get in safely, but I wasn't particularly concerned. We've got red hearts on the floor. Okay, uh, I'd like to see a lard out of this. Darn it. I'll take that. I still have one more shop that could still become good. And I still have some possibility for money money gaining. Still a few rooms left. And we still haven't found the secret room on this floor. Which could contain buttloads of money. Which of course then would be almost all doubled because my chance, my 50% chance would obviously come up every single time. Just like that. The easiest solution I've found to these guys is just constantly run in circles. Despite the fact that they can aim very precisely at you, they still predict. Oh, son of a gun. Well, that was a mistake, but whatever. I accidentally hit Q while readjusting my fingers. And I was right. The shop was, in fact, the furthest thing from the boss. Actually, I can gain money by getting hit by them. Okay. I want, like, all of these things. Uh, blue map would be nice. Of all the things, I would take blue map. Hagalaz. Which is destruction. Could get me the money I need. Oh, good lord. Alright, so this is what we're doing. We're taking this lucky rock. We're finding the room with the most rocks. We're using Hagalaz. We're going back and grabbing that. There's a lot of skulls in here, but not a lot of rocks. Oh. Justice. Alright, we'll come back for those pennies when I actually have my counterfeit penny. I don't know if skulls blowing up count for you. Either way, we're looking for a room. Okay, that's ten rocks. I think ten's the best we're gonna get. There's nine here. Technically, there's nine in one skull here, so... Blam! Lots of money! So we could get up to 20 cents. Which would be enough for all the things, in fact. There's gonna be a little bit of backtracking here, unfortunately. 
Not much that can be done about that. Okay, and I still haven't been to the top secret room, so... Something that needs to happen, especially because I only have one bomb. Which I didn't realize and is very unfortunate. Well, we managed to get 15 cents, which means we can get the starter deck. Okay, Guppy's Collar. I believe that's our first Guppy item, actually. I did say that I would like to become Guppy. I think that that is a good thing. Especially because familiar tiers do proc guppy, which means I would spawn lots of flies. Because I'm firing three familiar tiers. I'm pretty sure that uh, <laughs> rotten baby flies hitting doesn't count as tiers hitting. The world, okay, not actually useful. In this case. Oh, I don't have any bombs, so I can't manipulate anything. Pretty much doesn't matter whether or not I have the rock penny thing. Or the duplicate one. They both generate pennies. And one requires me to destroy stuff while the other kind of just does it passively. So that's why I'm thinking I want to keep the counterfeit penny in the long run. I kind of want to open that. Alright, so not quite what I wanted, although I could still get a penny, which would then double and give me five cents, which I could then use. Oh, that's close. Alright, there's... Alright. That was close. I really don't want to take any damage, because if I take damage, then this probably won't have been worth it. Man, I'm having way too much trouble hitting that silly thing. Alright, so we didn't actually get anything out of that. That's okay. We are just going to proceed onwards. Right, there are even hearts in here. But yeah, no arcade, so that's cool. Arcade would be nice. But here we are. Curse of the Blind. Son of a gun. Just using that. No particular reason. We're shooting a lot of tears. But just, oh, I guess the fly got really overzealous and chased for a while. Flies tend to do that, which is kind of annoying because, of course, you can only have one fly out at a time, rotten baby. Shoop de whoop. Ugh. It pushed me in the direction I did not want to go. Okay, this makes you invulnerable for a little bit. Which is good. If there's an arcade, I will very much like it. Because I can play the blood donation machine. That's a lot of mom's hands. More than I was expecting. Luckily, didn't actually get grabbed by any of them. I'm pretty sure I didn't. Okay, that's good. I could use LGs on that as well. I'm gonna have to decide what I want to use it on. Okay, that's good to know that's there. 
go and die, you stupid heart. Alright. That luckily managed to lure them away. Unfortunately, I'm probably not going to get a deal with the devil on this floor. I either need to find a spirit heart, like, right now. Like, this exact moment, or it's not going to happen. And I say that because I have to basically spend the entire floor not taking damage, because I don't want to rush and, you know, force the boss early, unless, well, because I don't have a teleport. I could get one. It's possible. Especially because with starter deck, all our pill drops become card drops. It is certainly possible. And what's this? Here's our shop. Somehow still not taking damage. But that means we could buy a spirit heart. Son of a bitch. I don't know what those things are. So I'm taking the spirit heart. I will try and buy them. I will try very, very hard. But I don't have any promises, unfortunately. That's nice. Very nice. Hmm. Probably not worth it. Just hoping to do a lot of damage with the flies. And not take any. Of course. And so far so good. Not sure what the charm to do the flies is going to do, but... Don't know if we go to three bosses yet. No, not yet. Okay, strength is good. So I forgot the world's the other one. We have the map, so the world is actually useless. Oh, it gives us the compass effect as well. That is true. I'm letting the flies do the damage here. That's going to explode, or not. That angle walk, though... So one of the things I'm going to do, briefly... Where's that devil beggar? Because there are two red hearts in that boss trap room that I'm not going to be able to get to. Devil. I'll take... Uh, strength is better than the devil. Oh, I can't even come back for it. Hey. Anyway. While my key barely has a charge, and I could possibly still get it recharged if it, if need be. Oh, it's, it is open. Okay, never mind. So that was unnecessary, actually. That's okay. Better safe than sorry. I always say. Actually, I don't always say that, but it'd be nice to imagine that I did. Still haven't taken damage on this floor. Did not find enough money though. That's what makes me sad. No arcades. It's probably because I haven't had the money. I've been spending it all. Because arcades used to only spawn if you had five cents or more. Alright, so. What do we do? Well, I think the first answer is play that demon beggar. And play him with Iwaz. I believe that is the first answer. Sorry, LGs, not you was. It was his passage. Don't know what it is. Mom's bottle of pills. 
<laughs> gives us the two of spades. Ah, it's rich. I, I, I'm entertained by this. Wait, does this just make me invincible for the room? Oh, lordy. That's kind of gorgeous, though. Oh, no. It actually did stop eventually. That really sucks, what just happened there. Oh my god, two lovers cards. Well, damage. Red heart damage. Unavoidable red heart damage. You could just show me what it is. I don't, oh, is it every single time I walk out and then back in? Oh, you're just trolling. Did I blow up the guy? I didn't blow up the guy. Yep, alright, well, not getting those. And it was a waste. All those spirit heart shenanigans that I tried, because I took red heart damage anyway. Oh well. We'll never know what those items were, so, I mean, that is a benefit. I'm keeping Dad's key, believe it or not. I'm weird like that. Oh, we have seven cents, hell yeah. We're finding out what it is. Uh, we're finding out that it's I am stupid. And I've taken damage already, so... If that was my first time taking damage on the floor, I would be pretty mad with myself. However, what are you? Steam sale. Game. Now it just tempts me with the other seven cent thing. I'm laughing because I can't do squat. Oh, the devil card got left in there. That's what happened. Oopsie. Whatever. Strength is the better card, so I'm not really all that sad about it. That was close again. Can't pick that one up. Will I get a deal with the devil? I really don't know. I'm gonna go ahead and say probably not. My damage is good, though. My damage isn't bad. Clearing out some of the rocks. I kind of wanted to step on that in case there's a black card in there. Oh, darn it. Took damage. So, no deal with the devil for me. since I took quite a bit of damage there. Gosh darn it. I didn't really have a chance to avoid that, to be honest. Fly, come on! This fly from Rotten Baby just sometimes is so worthless. Sometimes it just gets going, it gets motivated, and it starts doing stuff, and it's like, great. Thank you, fly. Sometimes it just doesn't know what it's doing. Well, considering I know which one is which, I mean, I might as well take the Polaroid because it's better. I think, anyway. Hopefully this is just a mom's heart run. This has already been a really long episode, unfortunately, because I wasn't aware that this was going to be this long of a run. Granted, I've been min-maxing, so it's partially my own fault, but I don't think min-maxing is unreasonable. Like, I really don't think it's unreasonable in this situation. It's actually probably very necessary. Any, any, uh, oh god, they're, where do these come from? How did I not see them until now? They must have just spawned off on the side. This is a terrible room. Where the hell is it? Really? <laughs> like, really? That's, that's how you do that? 
I have no words. Bye, I agreed. Thank you, Orbital, for not helping me. Because this run is probably over right here now, because I don't have the ability to do anything about this. There's no health on this floor yet. And if this is a bad room, I'm just I'm just done. Okay. I play strength because I want to live. Strength might actually let me keep that heart. It does? Okay, so it's a heart of healing. Thank you, strength. Because this room would have killed me. Probably likely still will. It's gonna just telefrag me. That was close. I hesitated there and it almost got me killed. Don't want that. I don't want to go into that big room either. I want a small, manageable room. Whew! Okay! Pure luck prevented me from dying there. Like, just legitimately straight pure luck prevented me from dying. Because instead of taking a step backwards, I stopped for a quarter of a second. I'm not happy where this is going. Um, is this it? I mean, whatever. I, I can't do anything about that one. Chances of survival. Slim. Okay, we live to fight another day. Damn it. I was so close to- oh, uh, well, we're dead. We're dead. There's no way that these things don't do something stupid. Like that. Ugh. Yep, dead. Oh, god, Guppy's Collar. Why? Okay, well, I'm not going that way. We are on the point of possibly being respawned, maybe not. I'm going to be very skeptical about the success of this run, just based on the fact that we're relying on Guppy's Collar. And not getting those damn lumps. Because those things are obnoxious. Unavoidable damage is the most frustrating damage in any game, because the idea of a game... I'm dead. No? Okay, see, it moved slightly, and sometimes it moves far enough that you die. I've seen it before. Oh, yeah, no, the, the, the downside... Not the downside. Um, the trade-off of playing a game is basically... This layout changed. Uh, anyway. The idea... And run over. The idea is that if you're playing a game that takes skill, which Binding of Isaac very arguably does, um, you should have counterplay to anything that happens in the game. If you play a perfect game, if you are ridiculous, if you are just like ridiculously just focused, I don't know, you took Adderall, you did something that you probably shouldn't have done. Um, and you're just so focused and you're just you're on point and you don't take any damage that should be possible that is what the lost is all about you're so good you don't take damage if there's unavoidable damage you automatically negate that as an option right it's pretty much a you're going to take damage here i hope you planned to, you know planned far enough in advance that you were going to take damage that it was okay and if, especially if you have a character like the Lost that can't take damage, uh, that's a really bad thing when you have unavoidable damage. Regardless, uh, happy with the first one, obviously not so happy with Family Man because we didn't succeed, but that's what we're going to be working on next time. Uh, I know this influx of challenges is kind of annoying. I can't say that I'm the largest fan of the challenges, but it's something that needs to get done for uh, the true Platinum God, 100%ing the game. 
So that's how it's going to be. Um, and hopefully that's what you guys are going for too. Um, obviously you can just watch my stuff if you uh, want to learn more about the game and enjoy it more. Um, which, more power to you. I'm not one to say that everybody has 100% the game. But as somebody who likes this game as much as I do, 100%ing it is basically the highest compliment I can pay it. At least that's how I look at it. Either way, uh, I hope you learned something. I hope you were entertained, even though I got pretty frustrated at the end there with the way things were going. And uh, I will see you guys next time.